Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna, Sri Krishna. Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo Maheshwaraha, Guru Sakshat Param Brahma, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha, Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Yagati Karma Yuktanam Sacha Vagindriyad Vade Yoginam Yagati Kwapi Yakatya Bhatur Jita Ya Karma Yuktanam Gati Those who are engaged in the Karma, Karma, Karma. Karma means action plus a sense of doership is equal to Karma. So when the notion is I am doing something, then it is natural that we will get the karma phala, the result of our actions. But if there is no sense of doership, then action will happen, but there won't be any result who will own that or anybody who will own that result. For example, you all must have seen when you do the karma kanda, puja, poti, yagya, havan. So the first thing that the panditji does he gives us the, you know, sankalpa. So he will give us little rice in your hand. And if you don't know anything, then you eat it. <laughs> I have seen this happening in USA. You know, a small village somewhere, and hardly five, six of our Indian families, and one Sindhi, elderly person, he was the wise man in that place. So every puja, etc., he used to do. And he knew only one mantra. Sukha karta, dukha karta, varta, vigna, anything. Only tune he is to change and say that. <laughs> so, give sankalpa. So when some rice is given in the hand, that yajaman, he will eat it. So first sankalpa is taken. And in that sankalpa, we define who is doing this job. So, Mamo Pata for my sake, conducted by me. Who am I? I am the son of so and so, living in such and such place, born in such and such gotra, on such and such time, in such and such murta, for such and such purpose, karishe. I am doing the karma. So, unless the sankalpa is done, Karta, the doer is not born. And after the doer is born, then the action is called as karma, then you get the karma phala for the one who claims to be the doer. See? Like you know, we know the story of Ramayan. Dasharaji had no children, so he invited a Panditji and the Yajna was conducted. But the Sankalpa was taken by Dasharaji. So when the Yajna Prasad came, it was not taken by the Panditji. Thoda mai bhi le leta <laughs> It was only by Dasharatha and then only the children were born. So those who are Karma Yukta, those who are engaged in doing the Karma, they are bound to get the Karma Phala. Now every action has got a different gestation length. Some actions are yielding the results instantaneously, some of them take longer time. Like, you know, uh, sometime, you know, you have some infection and then it remains dormant and after many years it comes up. What do you call that particular um, disease? No, there is something called as, you know, which is pre, uh, having small uh, nodules on the nerve. Herpes. 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 Normally, herpes happens during the childhood, I was told. Not in the old age. Once I was in, uh, where? England. Uh, near Scotland, probably. And uh, we were sitting, staying somewhere. <coughs> And one afternoon, I had such a terrible pain here on my side. And I said, what is this? It's so painful. It was 
impossible to bear the pain. <coughs> and I had a friend with me who was a doctor by profession. So, now what to do, how to disturb anybody. So I was just sitting. I am not the body, but the pain I am. <laughs> it was very painful. And then my friend asked, what happened to you? You are looking uneasy. I said, don't know, man, there is a terrible pain here. So he saw. Oh, he said, Swamiji, this is herpes. I said, at this age, he said, normally it doesn't come, but there is a report that it may, the dormancy may break any time. Therefore, some karmas give us immediate result, some can give very late. And if some karma we have done, whose results cannot come in this life, then, then in the next life the result of that karma comes. This is how the logic is established that we are the product of our own karma phala, what is called as prarabdha. Now it is for whom? For those who accept themselves to be the soul, the jiva. So get this point across, very important. When I consider myself to be body, then you are bound to die. Nobody can stop you. See? Similarly, if you consider yourself to be a soul, jiva, individual, and you are doing good or bad karma, you are bound to be born again and again. But if you have recognized yourself to be the non-dual absolute reality, then for you, neither there is birth nor there is death. So this choice is given to us. Now exercise this freedom and come to discover. Therefore, yoginam yagati kapi hi akatya. Because the yogis, the wise people, establish in the knowledge of the self, there is no birth, etc. for them, and therefore there is no more going from this life to that life. Up to here, we have seen in our last session, now 28th verse, evam jnatva tvamum margam yoginam naiva kalpitam vikalpa varjanam tesham swayam siddhi pravartate. See? Evam jnatva, thus having known, amum margam, this path, yoginam naiva kalpitam, then there cannot be any other destination to be reached by the yogi posthumus. Because when the pot breaks, the space merges there itself in the total space, there is no way to, it goes from one place to another place. And therefore, for the wise, knowledgeable people, there is no mention anywhere in the scriptures that after death, the wise man goes from one life to another life. Then do we mean that the great Mahatmas like Bhishma Acharya, etc., they were not wise? See? Now here is one important topic. See, we all know Bhishma Acharya was having a boon of leaving the body at will. So when he fell to the arrows of Arjuna, he did not want to leave the body there and then. He was waiting for the Uttarayan. And after Uttarayan came, then only he left the body. Now why so much insistence for the Uttarayan? Because if you trace back his history, who was Vishmacharya? He was one of the eight Vasus. Like there are different worlds. Bhur, Vasvaha, Mahajanaha, Tapaha, Satyam. Similarly, Atala, Vitala, Sutala, Taladala, Rasatala, Mahatala, Patala, seven worlds. Down, seven, up. Now, all these fourteen worlds, they form samsara. Not only the world of mortals. And the story of all the jivas is the same in all the worlds. And the story is, all of them are the victims of the desire. Wherever there is desire, it is a samsara. No desire, no samsara. So 
So Vishmacharya, one of the eight vasus, great highly evolved souls, eight vasus, some mischief was done there. As a result, karma phala, curse. He was born in the mortals. For what? Only to suffer. If you study Mahabharata, the most miserable character is that of Vishmacharya. Although unmarried, suffered the most. See? <laughs> you are all married and suffering. You can at least claim, bhai, apni galti ho gai. But what was the galti of Vishmacharya? But he suffered the most. And he was one of the most strongest person of his time. See, it is something like, you know, the Gulliver Lilliput you must have seen or heard. In the Lilliput kingdom, when the Gulliver goes, he is the powerful most man. Naturally, he is so huge and all that. Similarly, among the average mortals of this earth, the Vasu, who is extremely powerful, he will be definitely more powerful than any one of them. Now why he was insisting that he will uh, like to leave the body only in the Uttarayana? Because the visa is valid to enter only in Uttarayana. <laughs> in Dakshinayana you cannot enter the Vasuloka. So here, coming and going, the burden of desire, the doership, the sin and merit, the cursing and blessing is happening. This is all samsara. See. Therefore, those who are engaged in the karma, whosoever they may be, they fall in the purview of ignorance. Because they consider themselves to be the jiva, the soul. And therefore, yoginam naivukalpitam those who are following this path of knowledge, inquiry and recognition of oneself, for them, this gati, that after the death they will go here and there, is never imagined or mentioned anywhere in the scriptures. Vikalpa varjanam tesham. Vikalpa, where they will go after death, this option is not left for them. There are no options. You know, those who are softies, software engineers, they are the victims of these options. They don't like the reality. They don't like to see the human face. They like only the monitor. <laughs> and in that man, when they are looking at a monitor, they don't know the option. And with that mindset, they come in the world. If I get married to her, if I leave her, if I try with that, maybe that may be better. So delete it, delete it, add something. Whole life is only optional existence, <coughs> not the real existence. See. Therefore, vikalpa varjanam tesham, they are not left with any option that after death, where they will go. One example I'll tell you, many years it happened. One uh, journalist, young girl, this happened in uh, Dehradun. She came and uh, she said, uh, Sir, I want to take your interview and I'll publish in our newspaper. I said, start. No, I have prepared some questions. You can study them and reply me. I said, I don't reply the same question twice. You ask and take the reply. So she asked me about a dozen questions. Finally, she got disgusted. She said, will you at least answer one question straight? I said, depends. <laughs> then she asked, when you die, uh, what kind of footprints you want to leave in this world? I said, first of all, you will die before me. <laughs> so you will not be able to see my footprints. And second thing, footprints are for those who walk in the mud. 
the bird who flies in the sky leaves no footprints. See, if you have this notion that I am doing good, I am doing bad, I am a sinner and I am a meritorious person, then you are leaving the footprints in this world. See, friends, those who are walking the path of knowledge, inquiry, they don't leave anything behind. Kabirji used to say, you people say that there is such a power in Rama Nam. If you chant the Lord's name, Rama, you go to the heaven, Saket. Then why insist of dying in Varanasi? One way you say, we should chant the Lord's name so we can go to heaven. And second day, for dying people go to Varanasi. I also gone for many times, but still survived. <laughs> See? Therefore, you say one way the Rama Nama is so powerful it will take you to the heavens and yet you are having a doubt. Therefore, you want to come and die in Varanasi because those who die in Varanasi, they go to heaven. See? All these funny things are only for those who consider themselves to be the soul, the jiva. Vikalpa Varjanam Desham For them there is no Vikalpa left. Then, Svayam Siddhi Pravartate, they are always established in their Divine Self. There is no question of going or coming because they are already abiding in their Divine Self. And therefore, Tirthe Vantyaja Geheva Yatra Kutram Rutopiva Na Yogi Pashyate Garbham Pare Brahmani Diyate. Yogi, here yogi doesn't mean the one who is twisting the body. How twist kare? No. <laughs> the one who is engaged in straightening the mind. <clears throat> now why the yogis are not able to straighten their mind? Because they consider themselves to be the individual. And therefore, yogis and tapasvis, they have tremendous anger and a habit of cursing. You will never come across in our literature any jnani or any devotee has ever cursed others. The devotee doesn't curse because for him everything is God whom to curse. And a Gani doesn't curse because for him, other than him, nothing else is. But the Karmakandi, the Tapasvi, the Yogi, Shab Denu they are. They are mobile shopping centers. <laughs> Constantly shopping. I think they shop they See, friends. Therefore, Kirthe va antyajagehe va yatra kutra mrutaha api. Where you leave the body, it makes no difference. Whether Tirthe in a holy place, Tirtha Kshetra, antyajagehe in a house of a chandal or a discarded one, yatra kutra anywhere on the roadside in a gutter or in a palace. Mrutu api va. Na yogi paschate garbham. He is not born again. This can happen only if we have clear understanding. See? If we come to this conclusion that life is a manifestation and not an individuality. See? Suppose I have got a heart problem. And I go to the hospital. And then they say, you have to be operated. Uh, excuse me, who is the doctor? He is Mr. Gadwadwara. <laughs> but is he Bharadwaj Gotra? Because I am a Bharadwaj Gotri. No. See, there is no reason for this. Therefore, 
हियर इफ ए वाइज मैन इज नो मोर एंटर इन द गर्भ अगेन एग्जैक्टली वॉट इज द सीक्रेट सीक्रेट इज दिस He doesn't take himself to be an individual, and when you are not an individual, you are not insulted. See, whenever there is an individuality, then only honor and dishonor happens. See, friends, when the eyes see something beautiful or something ugly, eyes are not affected. when the mind has good or bad thoughts mind is not affected but when we get identified with the thought then some fictitious personality is born so that fictitious personality the virtual reality is called as the jiva it is not actual reality see and therefore bulb may be many but light is one bodies may be many but life is one see with this understanding if you lead your life will this thought come in your mind when a bulb becomes fuse where the light goes oh it goes from that bulb in search of another bulb <laughs> and enters there <coughs> will it happen that way in the same manner when this bulb becomes fuse then the soul from this bulb the body will come out and jaau to jaau kaha and then there was a board in one womb t o space l e t too late and this small i finds a space in between so he enters in that place and it becomes t o i l e t <laughs> and we are born see in the sanskrit language one suffix is added ko and adding that suffix doesn't change the meaning like bala means a child balak means a child similarly nara means manushya narak <laughs> therefore when the bulb becomes fused where will the light go it will go nowhere because it is not it is merely an appearance work on this again and again only petrol cannot pull the car <laughs> only machine cannot pull the car you require horse power invoke in that car isn't it no where is the horse power do we go to the petrol station are jara 40 horse power ka petrol dal dena <laughs> no then do we take that uh, you know steel structure I is trying to find out where the horse power guy horse hai ki gada hai see then when you switch on the engine the horse power that is created which is there after propelling both the petrol as well as the engine think so when you switch on horse power comes when you switch off where the horse go grazing <laughs> exactly the same way our body is like the engine parmatma is like the petrol and identification of parmatma with the body panchakoshas is like the donkey power not horse power and what a horse power or a donkey power will carry the load throughout life load of the body load of those who are dependent on the body load of all the possessions of this life next life brought forward continue see only one simple error if you have not recognized this error you will go into loop you know this is what 
in your um, computer science, they call it as a virus. Medical science, there is a biological virus. Computer science, there is a logical virus. Spiritual science, there is illogical virus called as ego. There is no logic behind it. See, therefore, <clears throat> this is the only way. Come to cognize, you are as, you are not the Panchakoshas, you are also not the expression of the divinity through the Panchakoshas. See, friends. Therefore, such a great master, where the body falls, how does it matter? Tanno yogi pashate garbam pare brahmanliyate but he is already merged in the absolute reality. Sahaja machintyam jastu pashyet swarupam ghatati yadiyateshtam lipyate naiva doshaye sakrutapi tadabhavat karma kinchinna kuryan tadapinata vivaddaha saiyami vatapasvi. Saiyami vatapasvi. He who is abiding in his natural condition, natural state, unborn, sahajam, ajam, unborn, and achintyam, we can think always in relation to. Non-relational thinking is not possible. See? Some reference point is required. So achintyam. Beyond the scope of relativity, yastu pashet swarupam, he who has recognized his divine essential self, ghatati yadi yateshtam, and if his life is licentious according to our definitions, yateshtam, whatever I feel like I will do, na lipyate naiva doshai. He is not influenced by all the activities that are conducted by him. Na lipyate. And doshaihi, and there is no impression ever formed on this truth. On this man who is abiding in the truth. Sakrutapi tat abhavat karma kinchinna konyat. Even once this is to be recognized. Now be attentive. Where repetition, abhyas is possible, it has to be finite. In finite only repetition is possible. For example, the sound, the words, they are finite. Sri Ram begins in time, remains for some time, ends in time. Again, Sri Ram. So you can repeat Sri Ram, Sri Ram hundred times. But the silence is uncreated, therefore not finite, therefore you cannot repeat silence. Ajam, uncreated, unborn, infinite, cannot be repeated. And therefore we have to know the truth only once. In case of the yoga abhyas, abhyas erandu kaunte ya vairagya erandu gruyate, abhyas repeating again and again. See, friends, one or two examples of our day to day life the bicycle riding, we don't learn it twice, we learn only once in our life. And after you don't ride the bicycle for years together, Yet you will never forget it, because you have not learned it by your mind. The balance that we learn on riding a bicycle, that balance is learned by what? By sense organs, by mind, by feeling. I think this is probably, this is, I think this is the way the balance is do. And once you learn, you will never forget. Same is the case with our swimming. We learn swimming only once in lifetime. Once you learn, never forget. Exactly the same way. 
Once we come to discover this truth, sakrutapi, only once even. See, that abhavat karma kinchinna kuryan. And therefore, thereafter, he will never, never be doing any karma because the doer is not born. This is the message Bhagavad Gita gives in the second chapter. This verse you must have heard hundred times. Most popular verse in the gathering of the people, the uh, people who want to show to the world we know Sanskrit, they say this. See, in our Gita it is said, Naya, that what they call a Karmanyeva Adhikar Hante. Gupta ji, you know Gita? Ah, Gita Upanishad. Upanishad also you know. Ah, jav Gita Upanishad padh liya, the Brahma Sutra. A Brahma Sutra also. Gupta ji has become thick. But you ask him, he doesn't know more than this one quarter, karmandeva adhikarasi. What is the further? Padlena. <laughs> so in this verse, what is said, karmandeva adhikarasi ma phaleshu kadachana ma karma phala hetur bhuhu. The third quarter is the most important. Do not become the cause for producing the result of karma. Karma phala hetu. How the result or the karma phala comes if you are the doer. So ma karma phala hetur bhuhu means renounce your sense of doership in all your activities. Instead of doing this, what we say, Thikhe, whenever I do something it is always wrong, I will not do anything. No, 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 no. Continue doing. Only give up the sense of doership. Therefore, sakrta pi tat abhavat karma kinchinna kuryat. Such a person in the absence of this doership can never, never be engaged in karma. Tadapi nache nivad vibhattaha sayyami va tapasvi. And even if he happened to do any type of karma, he will never be bound by those karma. See, one verse from Bhagavad Gita. Again and again reflect on that. Whenever you are disturbed, frustrated, Bhagavan Krishna says, Yasya nahankruto bhavaha buddhi yasya na lipyate hatma api saivan lokan na hanti na nivadyate. Yasya nahankruto bhavaha. He who doesn't have the sense of doership, see, he will not have to think karma phala and there will be no impression formed on the mind. See? Why we have problem is only because we become very serious while interacting with the world. Like you know, in one place it happened. My habit is to call people in a respectful manner. Mahatma Ji, aye, please come Mahatma Ji. The secret, I want to avoid it, but anyway, tell no. <laughs> the secret is, I don't remember anybody's names. <laughs> so when I say Mahatma Ji, aye, he also feels Swami has called me Mahatma. But the secret is, I don't know his name. <laughs> and one day when I called somebody, Mahatma Ji, he said, no, no, Swami Ji, you are calling me Mahatma Ji. I am not Mahatma. I said, okay, we have goof come. <laughs> and he became very angry. Angry not because I called him Beoku. How did Swamiji also know? <laughs> Others know it's okay. <laughs> so as you listen to Vedanta, same way you listen to the world. So Vedanta tells us, that you are Sachidaranda Brahman, do we listen? The world tells us you are Beyaku, why do you listen? <laughs> See, the whole attitude will change. Therefore, tadapi nacha vivadnaha sayyami va tapasvi. Therefore, there is nothing that can bind him because the basic error of doership is deleted. Niramayam nishpratimam nirakritim. Nirashrayam nirvapusham nirashisham 
निर्द्वंद्व निर्मोह मलुप्त शक्ति कम तमीश महात्मा नमोपैति शाश्वत सचे तपस्वी सचे संयमी सचे योगी सचे ज्ञानी वॉट यूर नेम यू मेक यू यू नो ऑल दीज वर्ड्स आर टू बी रेड इन ए पर्टिक्युलर रेफरेंस टू कॉन्टेक्स्ट सी तपस्या नॉर्मली तपस्या मीन्स हॉस्टैरिटीज वॉट वी अंडरस्टैंड तपस्या मीन्स वॉकिंग बेयर फुटेड माइल्स टूगेदर नॉट टेकिंग फूड एंड ऑब्जर्विंग मौन कीपिंग क्वाइट वेर इट इज कोल्ड एक्सपोज द बॉडी वेर इज हॉट सिट इन द फायर इन बिटवीन द ऑल अराउंड फायर यू नो अग्रे वन्नी पृष्ठे भानु रात्रो चूक समर्पित जानो तपस्या इन दिस कुंभ मेला वेन वे इन दिस टाइम सो देर वर सम फ्यू कमंडल स्वामी जी हमको कुछ दिखाओ हमें चलो आपको तमाचा दिखा and then we went to one place there was one mahatma and he has kept his hand like this and big board mahatma ji has kept the hand up for last 30 40 years and then the nails were so much grown guinea pigs book of records <laughs> and uh, when we are going i said now see his hand is down when we go up there immediately his disciples will come release his hand and with the rasi it will be tied down and uh, we suddenly enter so immediately his hand went up in <laughs> tapasya why it is tapasya normally hands are hanging down but ulta karo to tapasya one so giving up your natural state living unnaturally is called as tapasya so what is the tapasya of bhagwan yasya jnanam ayam tapaha see bhagwan has created this world out of tapasya so tapo tapyata tapas tapva tadagam idam asrujata yadidam kincha the whole world is created by lord through tapasya what is his tapasya Although he is ek meva ditiya, he became many and started suffering for no reason. Is tapasya. For us, what will be the tapasya? Normally, we feel we are jiva, but give up this jiva bhava and come to discover your divine self. That is the real tapasya. Bhagwan Ramana Maharshi defines this as tapasya. Aham peeta kam, nija vibha na kam, mahadidam tapo Ramana vagiyam. that under which our ego is fully diluted and deleted and as a result the divine glory manifests in its full glow that is the real tapasya see therefore tapasvi sayami yogi gyani these words should be understood in a proper reference to context sayami bhagwan krishna uses this technical word in the second chapter या निशा सर्वभूता तस्याम जागृति संयमी दे आर संयमी डज नॉट मीन द वन हु इज हैंग सेल्फ कंट्रोल दैट इज ए नो ए इंग्लिश ट्रांसलेशन इट इज नॉट ए टेक्निकल वर्ड सी एवरी सब्जेक्ट हैज गॉट इट्स ओन वॉकेबुलरी वर्ड्स मे बी द सेम वाय वन चाइल्ड लास्ट मे दिस क्वेश्चन वाय लॉर्ड शिवा एंड पार्वती कुड नॉट लर्न कॉम्प्यूटर <laughs> I don't know why they were. You don't know. Ganesh ji took the mouse away. <laughs> Now the word mouse with the spelling is the same, is it not? But the meaning of the word mouse in English language and the meaning of the word mouse in the computer language is totally different, is it not? Similarly, sayyami. When you take English translation, then you will have a very superficial understanding. But sayyama means when your mind is controlled, trayam ekatra sayyama. Ha. When your mind is controlled with reference to desha kala and vastu, time, space, and object. So when the mind can be controlled with reference to desha, the place. धारणा देन विथ रेफरेंस टू ऑब्जेक्ट ध्यान 
and with reference to time, samadhi. Where dharana dhyan samadhi, these three are simultaneously attained perfectly. That quality of the mind is called as sahiyama. And the one who wields such a mind, he is called as sahiyami. So, yanisha sarva bhutanam tasyam jagarti sahiyami. That which is not recognized by the average people in that absolute non-dual reality, this wise man is abiding effortlessly. Because his mind is available to him. He is not carried away by the mind. In this manner, yogi, sayami, tapasvi, all these words refer to the wise man who is abiding in the self. So, such a person, what happens to him? Uh, tam atmanam upaiti shashvatam. He attained that eternal self which is defined in the above lines. What is that? He is niramayam. Amaya is the disease. Niramayam pure, without any disease. Absolutely healthy. Nish prativam. There is no pratima. There is no form. It is a formless experience. What is the form of happiness? Smiley? No. Therefore, nishpratimam, nirakritim, and therefore no particular form or shape, nirashrayam, without any support. See? We are all living on one or the other support. Therefore, we are bonsais. It is absolute reality without any support. Nirvapusham, without any um, bodily limitations and nirashisham, without any desire, nirdvandvam, non-dual, nirmoham, without any delusion, and alupta shaktikam, and with the infinite powers, to that Paramatma, this wise man is awakened. All these things, what they said, just don't talk to yourself for next two minutes. This is the meaning of this 31st mantra. We go and take bath in the bathroom. Very easily, casually, if you are asked, kindly write in detail the process of taking bath. Oh God, kaasi suru kare. But when we go there, in a fraction of a second, bath is starting. In the same manner, although these words appear to be very difficult, this is the simplest way. Stop talking to yourself and before you talk to anybody else, think twice. Is it necessary? When we talk to others, we talk about our past. When we talk to ourselves, we worry about their future. And this is how the mind is living, alive, because of these two things. If you stop talking to yourself, future is blocked. If you don't talk to others, past is blocked. Here there is no past, no future. There is no present. Then there is only presence. 
not present presence this is the truth and therefore here the teacher very clearly distinctly tells वेदो न दीक्षा न च मुंड न क्रिया गुरुर्न शिष्यो न च यंत्र संपद मुद्राधिक चापी न यत्र भासते तमीश महात्मा न मुपैति शाश्वत ये संयमी योगी ज्ञानी वाइज मैन अबाइडिंग इन द सेल्फ ही अटेन्स व्हाट नंबर वन न वेद there is no involvement of too many things you know upanishad it is said nanu dhyayan bahun shabdan vacho viglapanam hitat don't get lost into too much of study 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 you know what happens bhagwan sri krishna tells arjun Why Arjuna was so much argumentative and talking and talking and talking in the first chapter? Because he must have been a professional satsangi. <laughs> Now, who is a professional satsangi? Yenni Mahatma. This is a Malayali expression. Yenni Mahatma. Coming, we go and listen. And there after this, so much of confusion in the head. तो so, गंगा गए गंगादास जमुना गए जमुना दास घर में आए देवदास <laughs> श्रुति भी प्रतिपन्ना थे यदा स्थान से निश्चला अर्जुन यू आर हर्ड सो मच दैट यू आर कंप्लीटली कंफ्यूज उपनिषद वेरी क्लियरली से नानू ध्यान बहुन शब्दान वाचो विज्ञापनम ही तत् वेस्टेज ऑफ और एनर्जी थ्रू स्पीच देर फोर न वेद वन से पर्सन रीच भगवान रमण महर्षि एंड सेट सर हाउ मेनी उपनिषद वी हैव टू स्टडी टू रियलाइज सो भगवान रमण महर्षि इज टू रिप्लाई ऑलवेज इन ए यूनिक मैनर He asked him, "Do you shave?" So that seeker thought, "What an insult! I am asking about realization, and this Mahatma is doing shave." So he thought he doesn't understand my question. So every fool thinks the wise man doesn't understand their question. No, no, no. I am asking, how many Upanishad we have to study to realize? Bhagwan said, "Yes, I understood your question. You answer now." How many times you shave once in a day? Very good. How many mirrors you require to see your face? One mirror is enough. No, no, no. We have to take mirror. One village, one village, two villages. One is enough. Study of one Upanishad is enough. See? Because. the difference between studying any other things and the scriptures is this like when we look at the book we look at the book but when we look at the mirror we look in the mirror we don't look at the mirror and in the mirror we see ourselves in the same manner when we study the scriptures we see ourselves in the scriptures if this happens then you will see we will not get lost into reading reading studying study pothi pad pad na pandit bhayar koi see or kabiri says by merely reading this upanishad khatam that upanishad khalla bhagavad gita drank na veda na diksha Like you know, when we go to some places, they say, "Swami ji, um, I have adopted you as my guru. So, uh, what we have to do?" 
I said, it is your problem. <laughs> Like, you know, you bring a puppy in your house as a pet, and you are that puppy. Now what should I do? Ko 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 ko. It's your problem. Aple ko kuch nahi hai. No, in that should we bring some coconut to hit on my head? <laughs> Or else giving the mantra in the ears, you know. These are all gimmicks. Don't get carried away by that. Many people tell somebody else's uh, secret to others. Don't tell him that. What is that? Guru Diksha. <laughs> See? Therefore, na vedo, na diksha, na cha munda, na kriya. See? Unless you shave your head, you will not realize. That realization, which can be prevented by the hair. <laughs> so all those who have got hair, they have not realized. <laughs> Because Pundan ne kiya. Na vedo na diksha na cha Pundan na kriya. Guru na shishyo na cha yantra sampada. This is another big problem. See, guru shishya, guru shishya. Be very attentive. <clears throat> If one claims oneself to be somebody's guru, somebody is benefited or not, we do not know. But the one who claims he is a guru, he is destroyed with a guarantee. <laughs> See, friends, never become guru in life. And that guru has to be discovered inside our heart. And what is that guru? That guru is our ability to learn from every experience of our life. And when we thus start learning from every experience of our life, with every additional experience, we grow wise. If we don't learn from the experiences of our life, we grow old and otherwise. See, friends. Therefore, don't get lost into this guru shishya, guru shishya. Everybody is guru. From everybody you can learn. See, Bhagwan Dattatre's life story I told you in Bhagwat Mahapurana it comes when he was asked by the king Yadu. How come you are so much composed, and quiet, and relaxed, and cheerful? Who taught you by your guru? Who is your guru? He said, "Apan ke to Baba, two dozen guru the. Yakka nahi, two dozen. Two dozens. Therefore, therefore, India is called as the Jagat Guru. Everywhere there is a wisdom, even on the back side of a truck." <laughs> Wisdom is spread everywhere. तू ने खूब बनाया है मोटर बनाने वाले को घर से बेघर कर दिया मोटर चलाने वाले को ब्यूटिफुल इट इज बुरी नजर वाले नॉर्मली तेरा मुंह काला वॉट ऑन वन ट्रक यूनिक वॉज रिटर्न बुरी नजर वाले अपनी नजर टेस्ट करा ले नथिंग रॉन्ग इन दिस वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड इज मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल फ्रेंड्स इफ वी दस लर्न फ्रॉम एवरी एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ अवर लाइफ देन वी कम टू नो दैट गुरु महाराज इज नो मैनिफेस्टिंग इन अवर हार्ट Because the one who learns is the shishya. Bhagwan Krishna could not become the guru of Duryodhan, Dushyasan, Dhrutarashtra. We may call him Krishna Mandey Jagat Guru, except 
इफ यू आर जगत गुरु वाई ही कुड नॉट टीच दुर्योधन दुशासन तो इन द गुरु शिष्य रिलेशनशिप द डिसाइपल इज इंपॉर्टेंट नॉट द गुरु बिकॉज अनले द डिसाइपल हैज एक्सेप्टेड टू चेंज हिमसेल्फ इवन गॉड के नॉट चेंज हिम सी फ्रेंड्स देर फोर गुरु न शिष्य न च यंत्र संपदा यंत्र संपदा वेरियस काइंड ऑफ यंत्र आर देर एंड देर यू आर टोल्ड यू डू दिस पूजा यू डू दैट पूजा एंड देर वेरियस काइंड ऑफ मुद्रा मुद्रा इज ऑल्सो देयर मुद्रा अधिकम यू मस्ट हैव सीन यू नो दिस तांत्रिक पूजा दे स्टैंड बिफोर द गॉड दे डू लाइक दिस थिंग एंड क्या क्या कर रहे हैं वो उंगलियां तोड़ रहे हैं मुद्रा अधिकम एंड न तत्र भाष दे ऑल दीज थिंग्स हैव नो प्लेस इन द एब्सोल्यूट रियालिटी इट इज हियर दैट द वाइज मैन इज एवर फॉर्मली रूटेड विथ दिस फॉर्म अबाइडेंस देर आफ्टर लाइफ इज जस्ट ए ग्रेट फन Like riding a bicycle is a fun for those who know how to balance perfectly. Driving a car is a fun for those who know how to drive perfectly. One lady in Bombay, she told me, "Sami, now I have learned driving. If you have to go somewhere, please tell me. I'll take it." <laughs> Experiment. And we are supposed to go from Andheri to Bhindi Bazaar. So she said, "I'll take you." We went. When we came halfway, the other Shivaji Park, she stopped the car and parked there. I said, "Mama, we have to go to Bhindi Bazaar." She said, "No, no, it's a good parking place." <laughs> <laughs> have you got the car for parking or what? You have to drive that, no? And then, but I had to go there. No, we'll take a taxi and go. <laughs> Then I asked. I said, "Why you don't drive, Swami Ji? To be very frank, I cannot reverse the car." <laughs> <laughs> What a tragedy! And the one who is perfectly established in this art of driving, you must have seen. I read one news. There was <clears throat> one. You know this huge. Uh, trailer driving fellows he has done something wrong somewhere parking wrong etc so the police caught him ha you are drunk he said yes i am drunk but i don't commit accident i not commit a single accident you can see he said you are so confident can you prove that you are better than the non drunkard yes he said officer you are not taken yes try to put this truck back into the garage in one go the driver told to that police and that, that police could not do he said now i will show you he got it and in one go went back in the parking lot the police said i am defeated <laughs> go free <laughs> because perfection if you are abiding in yourself you will be absolutely at home like the water is at home in any pot whether it is a pet, it is a petri dish or it is a test tube or it is a capillary tube in the capillary tube water doesn't be hey are it is to come away but if it is ice cubes every ice cube has its own personality <laughs> a lot of space in between and everywhere awkward because strong personality dissolve this ice of individuality and melt as the divine waters of purity you will be at home under all conditions 
that is spiritual life. <coughs> See, therefore, who is Audhut? Aksharatvat, Varenyatvat, Dhuta Samsara Bandhanat, Tattva Masyadi Laksharthat, Audhuta Itiriyate. He is the Audhut. Abiding in the Aksharatattva, which is Varenya, which is worthy of worship, which is worthy of seeking, Dhuta Samsara Bandhanat, no more this world of relativity will ever touch because he is abiding in the meaning of Tattva Masi Mahavakya. See? This is the place where the wise man <coughs> reaches effortlessly. Nasham bhavam shaktika manavam nava pindam cha rupam cha padadikam nava aramba nishpatti ghatadikam jano tamisham atmana upayati shashvatam to that Shashwata reality this wise man reaches. Now what is this Shashwata reality? We will take it in our concluding session after an hour or so. Till then you can have a cup of tea and relax. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purnaha Purnamudarchate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishade Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Shri Purvyo Namaha Hari Om